In this tutorial I show you how to crochet these cute two call slippers. For this demonstration I'm making a US size 9.5 slash 41 European size. You can adjust the size by following instructions on how to close the heel when your slipper has reached the desired length. To make these slippers you need some Aran or DK weight yarn. The Aran is a little thicker than the DK weight but you can use both. You will also need a crochet hook, I used the 4.5mm crochet hook. You can affect the width of your slipper by changing the size of your hook. If you want a wider slipper you can use a bigger hook and if you want a more narrow slipper you can use a smaller hook. So let's get started. And we'll just start by making a slip knot. And then chain two. And now you'll be working eight single crochets into the second chain from your hook. So that's the first. And just keep on working eight single crochets into that same chain stitch. And slip stitch to join. And now your stitch count should be eight single crochets around. And for round two, you chain one. And now you'll be working two single crochets uh, into the first stitch. And also two single crochets in every stitch around. And just keep on doing this until you've got a total stitch count of 16 all around. And then you just join with a slip stitch. And for round three, you chain one. And now you'll be working one single crochet into the first stitch. And two single crochets into the next stitch. And you'll just repeat this pattern all around. So one single crochet in the next and two single crochets in the next. One single crochet in the next and two in the next. And now we're at round four and you'll just be chaining one and making one single crochet in every stitch around. And your stitch count should be 24 stitches all around. And you join with a slip stitch and chain one for the next round. And for the next round, round five, you will again be single crocheting one stitch in every stitch around until you have a total stitch count of 24 stitches. And again join with a slip stitch when you get to the end and you can see that the foot is starting to shape right at the toes and one more round of single crochets for round six
and starting round seven you chain one and pull up the loop slightly just to get enough height to make the first half double crochet and you'll be working that into the same stitch and now you'll be chaining one skip the next stitch and then work one half double crochet into the next stitch and this is the pattern that you'll be repeating all around just make one half double crochet chain one skip one make one half double crochet until you get to the end and when you get to the end you'll be joining with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet of the round and for round eight you'll join your new color let's call it color B I'm using this gray color just attach the yarn just take your time to get all the, the yarn where you want it and now chain one and now you'll be working a single crochet into that first half double crochet from the last round like this and the next double crochet will go into the stitch below so in the stitch from the previous round and then one single crochet in the next half double crochet on the current row and one double crochet into the row below you can see how the double crochets they go between the posts of the half double crochets but not in the current on the current row but in the row below and it will look like this and just continue this pattern all around until you get to the end here I'm working my last double crochet into the last stitch and then I'll be joining with a slip stitch to the first stitch at the round and your stitch count should still be 24 and still working with the gray color I'm just counting my stitches here on my rounds for round 9 you'll be chaining 1 and then single crochet in the first stitch and actually you'll be single crocheting every stitch around and again this should leave you with a total stitch count of 24 and I do recommend that you count those stitches every round so again join with slip stitch and now for round 10 chain one and again you'll be working on single crochet in every stitch around and this pattern you will be repeating also throughout the pattern so every time you have changed to a new color there will be two rows or rounds of single crochets right after each other 